All of the major landowners are looking to them for these complicated jobs. There are very few in our area that are capable of, of, of pulling it off. It was a hard corner to get to. It would require uh, side blocking and doing a little not non-traditional yarding, not that they're something they're not used to doing. Um, they also had a small fish stream where they had to be fully suspended across and yard some wood across that. The first time I saw this unit, I noticed that it, it was clean. I checked all the ditches, the culverts, everything. Looked at the RMA uh, that they logged over the small fish stream. It was great, no big gaps in the RMA. There was also a county road running through the middle of this job, which had to be kept open um, throughout the day at various times for, for a renter who lived in a house at the bottom of it. Yeah, Ryan the renter, um, the lady that lived down there, she had a little sports car, and whether it was a Camaro or a Mustang, but real low clearance. So uh, uh, she made sure, you know, uh, there couldn't be a limb there. She didn't want the bottom of it getting scratched. So we would, uh, what we couldn't sweep out of the way with the shovel, we'd hand pick and throw out of the road for her. So, but she was nice and good to work with. Yeah, just, just another part of the job. On the way down to the renter, there's a power line that follows part of the haul route and runs through the unit. So there's a power line that was, was a danger and an obstacle for logging this job. The issue there was trying to keep on the normal power and uh, not have the cost of a big generator that Lone Rock was going to have to supply. So uh, my crew uh, in the evenings or the morning would go down and uh, fill up the generator and we kept it topped off for them. And I think it could go two days, but we hit it every day. So we made sure it wouldn't run out. And, so that's one thing uh, we mentioned to Ryan, he still owes us. Dick Clarkson and Denali Logging are very consistent operators. We give them jobs like this that have these little challenges because we know that um, once we get them lined out, we tell them what, what we want and expect that it goes smooth. It's just like if there was no, nothing extra they had to do. I'm just the orchestrator. Uh, those guys, uh, are the guys that know what they're doing. Uh, they um, have already logged it before we even logged it. They, they can see it and do it. I, I nominated Dick Clarkson and Denali Logging for this, this unit here. It's 64 acres approximately, but this was one job that, for his nomination, another job he was nominated for, which others can speak a little bit better about, was his operation up the North Fork of the Coquille, where that involves some some downhill logging and, and some stream crossings up there. Well, there was a low water crossing that had to go across the North Fork of the Coquille River, and so we have only a short time that we can have that temporary structure in place. So we needed somebody that we knew could get in there on a certain date at the beginning of the season and get through there as quickly as possible. And the only thing that, you know, scared us and hurt us was the fire season. Uh, you know, we. We got shut down on a level four and then we let it sit for two weeks in that hot weather. It just turned to, you know, kindling. It was just red up there, so dry. And so uh, every morning uh, we'd water the tail blocks down with the fire hose and then every night we'd water them down and uh, everything turned out. Just a lot of challenges. It's a high landslide hazard location, large fish stream, low water crossing, small fish stream, grave site that they needed to protect. There must have been three or four headstones there and it was from uh, some of his family that had owned the property ahead of time. So uh, it was going to be an issue. Uh, one of the corridors was going to come down close to it, but we were able to put a landing a little bit off to the side and we were side blocking so we didn't have to hang through that little metal. So things like that where they changed their yarding pattern to protect the resources on their own. It's just something that they do. Any good company is not a good company. It's their employees that make them a good company. And I realized that right off the bat. It's all about the employees. Uh, you treat them the way you want to be treated and it will really reward you down the line. And my uh, employees are some of the best out there. And it uh, makes my job so much easier, you know. I'm just a guy out there selling it. Thank you.